Hello everybody, uh, Kyle here. I'm going to show you another video of some of the samples we've pulled out over the course of the last few months uh, from, some, from some various mines. Uh, had so much fun doing that last video with uh, my loop rigged up attached to my phone, decided to do it again. So, got about uh, five or six pieces I want you to check out here. So, go ahead and put the loop. It's going to look blurry at first. Okay, so I'm going to start out with this one. So I'll zoom way in on this. And this was a sample I pulled from a mine that was about 60 to 70 feet underground. Uh, it was a little drift level I ran into. Now we got a combination of things going on here. Uh, obviously a lot of copper staining. This is uh, some chrysocolla malachite. Uh, there's a lot of quartz in this. It's kind of brecciated. However, you look at this thing under the loop, you know, you're thinking to yourself, well, eh, there's probably not a whole lot going on here other than copper. However, this piece assayed out at 0.6 ounces per ton gold and believe it or not 28 ounces per ton silver so I was actually kind of surprised by the silver content however this is from a trusted source so I believe what he said these green <clears throat> these greens are actually very vibrant um, a lot more so than in the video, in person. So in this particular area, as you go deeper, what happens is you'll see a lot of limonite that suddenly starts getting a lot of copper staining in it. And once you get to a certain level, the gold values and the silver values drop dramatically, but suddenly you're into a major copper zone. All right, so move on to another piece. And this is from that same mine. See a tiny, tiny bit of little copper speck in there. In fact, that might not even be from this particular sample it might have just been something from my workbench here that I just picked up but uh, this was from the same spot just about 30 or 40 feet closer to the surface this one came at came back pretty decent too uh, See those little solution cavities right there? Let me see if I can zoom in on that properly. It's kind of a square shape. So as the acid attacks this, as it oxidizes, it'll go from a square shape to these kind of strange cavity shapes you see. This is a pretty small sample. You'll actually see some that'll be heavily pitted. Big cavities in it. Like I said, this came back at about 0.3 ounces per ton gold. 
I believe the silver was about half an ounce per ton. So, I mean, not terrible. Definitely a good in indicator that there's some good stuff, possibly deeper into the mine. Okay. Now this sample here is from a completely different mine. However, it's very similar ore. This is from a spot in another video where I kept getting detector hits. The spot was mostly limonite. Uh, three quarters of it was, it was very soft, but down the borders you had where it started transitioning more into quartz, bands of hematite in it, a lot of sulfur staining. You can kind of see that orangish yellow right there. Again, you're not really seeing anything really pop out at you. Uh, the gold in this stuff is probably very fine. It's unlikely you're going to see it pop up under a loop. This is uh, 20 times mag magnification right now. If we actually had this uh, under a microscope, you might start seeing some stuff. But there's no doubt that there's going to be gold in this stuff. Uh, haven't had a chance to send it out yet for an assay. Some very pretty colors right there. Well, um, one person telling me that a lot of this red uh, is an indicator of zinc, which we do have a little bit of zinc showing up in this particular district. Lots of iron. Okay. It's another piece. It's from the same sample, just a few inches away. But I flipped this over, you can start to see a lot of the laminations in the quartz. Some sulfur uh, indications is that uh, kind of rainbow color there. Might be a hint of a little bit of copper staining. This was from sample 11. We were out there a few days ago. Okay. So, that's that. However, I got much more interesting piece here. From the same general area. Um, this is a very, very big piece of limonite I picked up. As you can see, there's nothing really jumping out at you here. I gotta say, this is a very, very tough piece of rock. Um, I beat on this thing with a five pound sledge for several minutes before I was even able to chip off any of it. 
lots of iron. Now this particular sample, we have an assay. I'm not gonna say how much it is, but let me put it this way. It's a heck of a lot better than anything else we've found. So this is the one we're actually most excited about. Zoom in on that. See a lot of this yellow staining that's it's not visible on the surface so much, but as you break it open, lots of little uh, flakes of quartz in it. Lots of this yellow, which I'm going to say is probably a little bit of uh, sulfur staining. Perhaps a little bit of arsenic. But most of the gold coming out of this was free mill. Alright, I'm going to take the loop off. And just to give you an idea of what that piece looks looks like. Uh, this is probably about a 15 inch wide chunk, probably weighs about 35 pounds. Very nasty stuff, but it's very good stuff. This is high grade. Let me put it this way, we find a bunch more of this, it's going to be a good day. Alright, so that's it for now folks.